Chelsea are confident they can close the deal for Raheem Sterling. A transfer fee could be around £35 million. That according to transfer supremo Damasio. Chelsea have long been linked to Raheem Sterling. Dean Jones just three weeks ago on the Football Terrace done deal show said... Keep your eye out for Raheem Sterling to Chelsea. This transfer has been mooted, reported on, spoken about many, many times in the past three to four weeks. And according to Damasio, as we just say, he could be on his way to Stamford Bridge. We're going to take a look at this story, Fabrizio's take on this, and a new defender that Chelsea are looking at as well. Smash the like button. Leave us your comments below right now. Let's go. Chelsea confident on closing a deal for Raheem Sterling. That is direct from Damasio. Chelsea, we know, want to bolster their attacking line this summer. Lukaku, the deal to move back to Inter Milan is closing in and is getting nearer and nearer and nearer to being done and dusted. What else is going to be done? What do they need to bring in? Now, of course, Christopher Nkunku was a link to Chelsea. There is still the possibility that that deal could get done, but 100 million euros is the asking price. Will the new Bowley group stretch that far? Will they spend that much money? That's the question. Now, Raheem Sterling looks as though he looks as though his time is coming to an end. It looks as though it's coming to an end at. Manchester City with Alvarez and Haaland coming in. Of course, I think Riyad Mahrez is still very much fancy. Jack Grealish, £100 million investment. These are going to be the attackers next year. The primary players primarily used by Pep Guardiola. So he needs to find a new club. There was talk about moves abroad, but they seem to have really faded in the past five, six, seven days. A number of London clubs, including Arsenal and and. Tottenham have been linked to Raheem Sterling over the course of the summer, but it does appear that Chelsea Football Club have ignited that interest, according to Damasio. Now, slightly different to what Fabrizio has stated. So there's a comment here from CFC Pires who says that Chelsea are really exploring Raheem Sterling. Uh, they are waiting to understand what the potential price could be. Fabrizio quote tweeted this and stated Raheem Sterling for short is one of the names on Chelsea's list with Thomas Tuchel, a big fan of the English winger. Chelsea have explored the conditions of the deal. No direct talks between Manchester City and Chelsea or bid yet depends on other deals like Lukaku, uh, Lukaku, Usman Dembele and more. So a slightly different variation uh, and, and thoughts there from Fabrizio Romano in, in relation to this potential deal. And I think for me, I, of course, it depends on other deals. It depends on exits and it depends what it, it there's, there's, a, there's a lot surrounding this deal, but I think there could be something in this. I tweeted on the 3rd of June. I was just checking for it then. And I was told that Raheem Sterling uh, has a number of admirers at Chelsea. This is a deal to watch out for this summer. And it very much appears that this is now going to be the case, that Chelsea will explore this. Of course, I still think you can sign Sterling even if you sign Usman Dembele because they can play opposite sides of the pitch. In fairness to Chelsea... They don't have anybody in their attacking ranks who's really... hudson Doyne not good enough. Ziyech doesn't really get on with Thomas Tuchel, who doesn't want to be here. Werner, not good enough. You could bring them both in for a combined total of £35 million. That's a steal. Now, I know there are fitness issues and concerns. We've had many discussions about uh, Usman Dembele on the football terrace. But £35 million for Sterling and Dembele, fee-wise, that improves what you've got. Both of those players are better than every single attacker at Chelsea already. 
Raheem Sterling is light years better than Hudson Odoi will ever be. And I'm talking the overall package. Yes, Hudson Odoi is probably a better dribbler of the ball. Might have a few more skills. He doesn't score like Raheem Sterling. He isn't as experienced as Raheem Sterling. And I don't think he'll ever win as much as Raheem Sterling in terms of being a key integral part of a team. He's had his chances and opportunities and hasn't delivered. Ziyech and Werner in the Prem are duds. A few good moments here and there, but overall they're duds. I see a lot of Chelsea fans online kind of scoffing at this deal, being worried about this deal, frustrated about this deal. But for me, I think they should be chomping at the bit. I don't. I. I. I want to know in the comment section now what are your concerns about this? What would your frustrations about this deal be? I want to understand it. Now, another deal linked from the Demasio group today to Chelsea is Nathan Ake of Manchester City. Also, Nathan uh, Gissing, uh, who is part of the Demasio group, has said that Thomas Tuchel is a big fan of the centre-back. And this appears to be another deal which Chelsea fans are unhappy with, as it were. And again, I, I do understand why. I do understand the frustration. I do understand the the want for a a better player, maybe. Maybe maybe, that, maybe that's the right word, you know, a, a higher level, a higher level individual. But I think you have to look at the overall approach here. I, I don't think well, it depends. I suppose what Chelsea fans are fearful of is that Nathan Ake is an alternative to Jules Kunde, a deal which there's a lot of Chelsea fans that are nervous about, that are worried about what Barcelona are going to do. And if Barcelona starts selling some players, giving them the capacity to register, who knows what could happen? The fact that Jules Kunde isn't signed off yet, even though the majority of the British-based Chelsea journalists think it's a done, de facto done deal. It's going to happen. It's on the edge. It's there or thereabouts. The player still wants to join. There is still that element of fear. You see it. And you can feel it amongst the Chelsea fan base. But I want your thoughts and I want your feelings on that. Nathan Ake to Chelsea, what kind of deal do you think that would be? Good, bad, indifferent. It was only a couple of years ago, Man United fans wanted him and they were disappointed when he went to City. Hasn't really figured much. He's very much been a backup player. And that could be the point for Chelsea. He could be a backup player. He could be an individual that comes into the team and does... Does a job, you know, does a job as it were. And, and that for me is what I think sometimes goes over fans' heads is that not every link is necessarily a, like not every link to a player is, is necessarily, are they going to be a first team? Are they going to be a starter? Are they going to, you know, they're going to play X amount of games per season. It could be you want him as a backup player because your backups, like, you know, Sar's not particularly good. There's still the jury out on Shalaba as an example. But look, Chelsea, I know Chelsea fans are getting frustrated. But back to the Raheem Sterling deal for a minute. I, I don't understand this one. This is a play, I'm just looking at it here. 339 games for City. 131 goals and 95 assists. That's 226. 226. 226 goal contributions in 134 games. That is top class. He's only 27 as well. Raheem Sterling potentially has four to five years remaining. Five League Cups, one FA Cup, four, four Premier League titles. The experience, the age profile, the talent ID, the outputs and the overall technical ability of Raheem Sterling... He's instantly Chelsea's best attacker. Unless I'm forgetting about someone, unless I'm omitting somebody, he becomes Chelsea's best attacker and he is top class. Don't get fooled by City wanting to move him on. City are doing what great clubs do. There comes a time where you just have to refresh things. Change is as good as a rest for everybody. The club selling a player and for that individual. I kind of feel Raheem Sterling should have left a year or so ago. I think he needs a new new challenge. I think he needs a new goal. I think he needs something else to sink his teeth into. But it's certainly going to be an intriguing one to see how this transpires and moves forward. Fabrizio, a little bit more downbeat about it. Things are a little bit slower, maybe. And this tweet, by the way, was only a few hours before 
um, Demazios. No direct talks. We know there's going to be no direct talks until things really heat up because it's all done via intermediaries. But Demazio, he believes that Chelsea are confident that they will close the deal for Raheem Sterling. Now, I want your thoughts and I want your feelings, Chelsea fans. Leave us your comments below. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel as well. Until next time, take care. Goodbye. God bless. And I'll see you all again.